Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to All India Radio Houston. I am Dr. Nick Nickam, your host, and we will be here for the next hour. This is a talk show where we focus in depth on one or two topics that are of interest to you. If you would like to be a guest on this program, please contact us at 281-265-7567. This program in part has been sponsored by Sugarland Heart Center. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to All India Radio Houston. I am Dr. Nick Nickam. We are delighted you could join us. And we have two fantastic programs this morning. You are listening to 1050 KCHN Houston, Texas. And you are listening to All India Radio Houston. During first half of the hour, we are going to be talking to you about uh, Indian Doctors Association. And my special guest is Dr. Raghu Atre. And during second half of the hour, we are going to be talking about uh, cardiac arrhythmia or irregular heartbeat such as atrial fibrillation and also about pacemakers. Uh, we would like to recognize uh, some of our sponsors uh, before we begin the program. Uh, we want to recognize the uh, Atrium Medical Center located in Stafford, Texas, uh, which provides uh, senior care and advanced wound treatment and their number is 281-207. 8200. We also want to thank Dr. Imran Moidin uh, from South Texas Vascular Services, uh, where he specializes in arterial and venous diseases. Uh, and we want to thank Foundation for India Studies, which is bringing India B on 29th of March, which we are going to talk about in a few minutes. And also want to talk, thank Dr. Ravi Somiazula, a plastic surgeon. And all these people have been on our radio programs and all our programs are cataloged on YouTube under my blog, Nick Nickam. And you can visit these places and listen to uh, these interviews also. I also want to thank uh, Dr. Sabah Khan. And let's talk about cricket for a minute. Uh, India won against West Indies. Uh, they have eight points now. And uh, similarly, Pakistan had a thrilling victory against uh, South Africa last night. Uh, so they have six points. And Ireland also had a last minute win against uh, Zimbabwe. And they, are, they have six points. Uh, now we're going to talk about the Indian Doctors Association and my special guest is Dr. Raghu Atre. Dr. Raghu Atre, welcome to All India Radio Houston. Uh, just give us a little bit uh, about your background uh, before we go to the Indian Doctors Association in particular. <laughs> Absolutely. So um, hello everyone. My name is Raghu Atre. Uh, I'm a physician here in the Houston area. I actually grew up here in the Houston area and pretty much a native Texan uh, based on how long I've lived here. I went to University of Texas for undergraduate, and then I went to Dallas for medical school and residency, and then did my fellowship in Atlanta before coming back and starting my own practice here. I am a facial plastic surgeon here in the Houston area, yeah. and I've been involved now with the Indian Doctors Association for more than five years. That's fascinating. Okay, let's talk about the Indian Doctors Association. What is Indian Doctors Association? You know, when was this started and, uh, you know, what are its uh, main uh, activities? So, I'll kind of break this down into two main uh, categories. Uh, one based on historical and one also with my perspectives yeah. on it. So, Indian Doctors Association was actually started in 1981 by Dr. Jagdish Sharma. Yes. And at that point in time, uh, the primary mission statements of the association <laughs> were to really propagate and provide a forum for Indian physicians here in the Houston area. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of uh, physicians coming from India, various places uh, around the world who had trained in other places of the world. And um, as these physicians started migrating here to the United <laughs> States, they found uh, quite a bit of difficulty with respect to getting privileges and things like that at local hospitals here. So Indian Doctors Association was really designed originally as an uh, organization there that these doctors could A, get together at a social function, you yeah. know, chit chat with each other, networking, as well as provide a forum for them to discuss some of these issues. And as it has evolved over the years, it slowly added different other mission statements like charity work, yeah. uh, sponsoring mm -hmm. scholarship and community uh, service. So I first got involved with uh, Indian Doctors Association approximately five years ago, and yeah. I was brought on board by uh, Dr. Ashok Tripathi, who's yeah. a family practitioner in the uh, Clear Lake area. Mm -hmm. And he is kind of, uh, he's you know, a close family <laughs> friend of mine, as well as, uh, yeah. I think, a very important person in the community. He's really mm -hmm. very selfless 
And yeah. he was the uh, president of the Indian Doctor Association. He convinced me to <laughs> kind of come on board. And yeah. the things that intrigued me at that time was really some of the charity work, uh, community service. And one of the things that I think is one of the fundamental hallmarks of our uh, organization is uh, scholarship. So we yes. give uh, money for scholarship. And I think, you know, we support other charity uh, <laughs> events, which we'll discuss in this show. But that's something that, from my perspective, is something that I'm very uh, uh, concerned with as well as very happy about. That's good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to All India Radio Houston. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. If you would like to join in the conversation, the number to call here is 281-745-4161. We are talking about the Indian Doctors Association. And my special guest is Dr. Raghu Atre, a plastic surgeon from Clear Lake area. Okay, let's talk about uh, who are your members? Uh, what different specialties can join uh, as a member of the Indian Doctors Association? So um, our members actually include all different specialties. So um, mm. our bylaws state that you have to be a physician yeah. um, or a uh, dentist to join. Yeah. Um, so basically that is our, our demographic mm. and within that every major specialty from internal medicine to cardiology to general surgery to plastic surgery, all of them yeah. are all covered within that. So anybody can join. We also have medical student liaison. So we have, you know, three medical schools in the yeah. immediate Houston area. So uh, if medical students are interested in joining and kind of learning more about it, we welcome them to come to our meetings, come to our happy hours um, and uh, kind of join in the fun. Okay. Uh, can uh, other uh, uh, physicians like chiropractors or any other people uh, join the group? Um, as of this instantaneous moment, we yeah. haven't really had the interest from other uh, ancillary medical personnel to yes. join. Um, if there are a great number of chiropractors <laughs> who would love to join, yeah. you know, please show up at our meeting and we can <laughs> amend the bylaws. I mean, it, we're not an yeah. exclusive group as much as we are an inclusive group. Yeah. You know, now you see a lot of uh, physician assistants who work hand in hand with physicians uh, uh, along the same lines. Uh, you, you think, uh, you know, maybe you'll have a... Uh, open up for physician assistants and uh, PAs. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, I don't think we have as yeah. a as a as an issue to exclude these people. If there is a significant <laughs> amount of interest from PAs and NPs that they would love to join, then from our standpoint, I see no uh, yeah. uh, no issue with that, and it would just require <laughs> us to amend the bylaws. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to All India Radio Houston, and I'm Dr. Nick Nickam, and my special guest is Dr. Raghu Atre, a plastic surgeon. He is the president of the Indian Doctors Association, and if you'd like to join in the conversation, the number to call here is 281-745-4161. Okay, let's talk about some of the activities the Indian Doctors is involved in. Uh, during the course of uh, the year? <laughs> so this past year, the 2014-2015 yeah. year, has been very different than some of the prior years. <laughs> um, in the prior years, what the community at large kind of has known us for is one large gala event. Yeah. <laughs> and then we also have one community event uh, in the fall and one in the spring, yeah. where mostly it's physicians that are invited, like, for example, there was an event at George, George Ranch <laughs> where people just show up and have kind of like a picnic. Um, like we've kind of, right, yeah. right. And that has been changed this year. And what we've really adopted yeah. this year, which has been very successful for us, is the concept of these little mini happy hours. Yeah. Um, so essentially this year we had three happy hours, uh, one in the Galleria area, one in the Sugarland area, and one in the Clear Lake area. And uh, with each one of these happy hours, our attendance at these happy hours has increased, yeah. as well as the number of new physicians at these happy hours has, has increased. Um, so that has been somewhat of a successful model. So going here forward, I somewhat see that as our predominant model in terms yeah. of having these small community-based events around the city to try and invite physicians that are either based or, yeah. or uh, live in those areas to come show yeah. up at these events. You know, Houston is a very large city. And uh, the last time I did the numbers for the physicians, they had like 1,200 actual physicians, practicing physicians, not, not even counting medical students and residents. Uh, plus, you know, we are so spread out from Clear Lake to Woodlands, so you're talking 30, 40, 50 I, miles. I think you should uh, even uh, include Umble in there. I Umble know. is now part of Houston. So, That's right. Yeah. How, do we ma how do we go and inspire all these people to come together uh, uh, for a common cause or for, for a common purpose, uh, at least for networking and uh, uh, for a good uh, uh, meeting? <laughs> 
again, I really think that the only way <laughs> the the only way to really do this is to have smaller yeah. community based events. <laughs> um, we really learned this because, for example, our very first happy hour, we put it in the gallery. Our yeah. thought process was it is a central, central location yeah. for everybody. It was the most poorly <laughs> attended happy hour because yeah. of the fact that if you put a, an event at six o'clock on a weekday in the Galleria, how are you going to get there you if you're a physician? You. Exactly. So therefore, then the you know the model changed to say, okay, let's yeah. just go to the suburbs. Let's go to Sugarland. Let's go to yeah. Clear Lake. And now you know in our next kind of iteration of this, it's going to be let's go to Woodlands. Let's go to Katy. Let's go to Humble because. You know, people are busy. People, you know, go to work at seven thirty, get done at six, seven o'clock. Yeah. For them to come to a central event on a on a weekday is going to be somewhat difficult. They don't want to give up their weekend to do so. So the only yeah. way to do it is make a small event that's somewhat either close to work or close to home that they can show up and and network. Absolutely. Uh, now you mentioned Sugarland, and that uh, comes to my mind. Fort Wayne Medical Society, which was just branched off uh, a few years ago. Now we have close to <coughs> 150 members, and you know we have happy hours. And just a few months ago, we had a gala where majority of them were Indian and Desi people. Maybe that's a place to collaborate, and maybe even have a a table and, and, and pass the Indian Doctors Association information. Absolutely. That might help us to <laughs> expand and at least get people to know that the Indian Doctors Association is there and you know there's a lot of benefit to being a member. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to All India Radio Houston. I am Dr. Nick Nickham and my special guest is Dr. Raghu Atre. And we are on 1050 KCHN. Uh, if you'd like to join in the conversation, the number to call here is 281-745-4161. It's been sponsored by Sugarland. And uh, so let's uh, I'm trying to figure out why this is going. Okay. Okay, let's talk about uh, uh, what are the other activities the Indian Doctors Association uh, has been involved with uh, over okay. the years. <laughs> so the other primary activity, which again we're going yeah. to be doing this year, is our annual gala event. Gala, yeah. uh, the gala event is on April 11th. Yeah. Um, it's at Hotel Derrick, so which is a very nice venue in the middle part of the, <laughs> the city. Um, and it's going to be basically our primary fundraising as well yeah. as community service event of the year. So we're going to be giving out some scholarships there, um, and also it serves as our fundraising for future yeah. um, ven uh, future events that we can do through the city of Houston, uh, throughout the city. Um, so that's kind of an another one of our major charity things that we donate money for and we're involved with as yeah. a charity clinic. Yes. Um, so the uh, purpose of the gala is also to raise money towards the charity clinic so that we can help yeah. uh, offset some of the defray some of the expenses of the charity clinic. Okay, let's talk a little more about uh, this uh, scholarships. Uh, Absolutely. You know, what kind of scholarships are given and who is eligible and a uh, little more information so that if someone is interested in applying for that. Absolutely. Uh, and also the contact information for the Indian Doctors Association. So this year we're giving two cash scholarships to high school students. So see, we're yeah. changing it up a little bit. Huh. Uh, <laughs> in the past we've done medical students, but this yeah. year we're doing high school students. And the rationale for that is we really want to be able to impact um, a student. Yeah. Um, you know, we were we had a long, hard discussion about this. And by the time somebody goes to medical school, I mean, pretty much their life is on cruise control. Right, yes. You know, you're, you you plug into the the railway track and you're there. That's right. Yeah. Um, but at the at the point of a high school student, um, you really have the you have this kind of fresh mind who the world is their oyster. And some of these students here in the Houston area have a pretty difficult financial. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> you know, resources with respect to being able to go to college and make something of themselves. So yeah. therefore, um, that's what we're offering this year. Yeah. Um, we've opened it up to all high schoolers in the city of Houston. I see, yeah. um, actually, I've already m emailed out the application um, to every major high school within yeah. uh, HISD, Fort Bend ISD, and Clear Lake ISD, uh, Clear Creek ISD. So if uh, yeah. any student goes to their guidance counselor, they should have a copy of our application. Yeah. <laughs> if, however, you they do not and they want to get information about the scholarship, uh, they can contact me via email. My email is ragu, R-A-G-H-U, at atre, A-T-H-R-E, dot com. And uh, on the subject line, please include IDA scholarship, yes. and then we can forward them a copy of the uh, application. application. So, uh, 
how is the selection process uh, conducted for these high school students? Absolutely. <laughs> so we've made it very simple. So the, there is a one-page application which see, yeah. basically has some basic information, name, address, so on and so forth. With um, We need a copy of their transcript. Yeah. I want a class ranking, <laughs> um, a list of some of their ex extracurricular activities. And I've made it as open and inclusive in terms of putting out Basically, they're going to be writing an essay, yes. and I want them to sell themselves to, to us. Why should we yeah. give them a scholarship? Um, I've received several applications, and I've already started kind of looking at these applications. <laughs> and there was, I'm not mentioning names or anything, yeah. but however, there was one student, <laughs> and he really went into detail yeah. about what his dreams are and why yeah. this scholarship would really help him achieve his goals. I mean, that. So I, from that standpoint, I think that's what we really expect. I think that that's, that's absolutely fantastic because uh, for the last uh, 10 plus years, I always had one or two high school seniors as part of their business co-op program where they work half day during the senior year in the school and half day they work in our office. So I have interacted almost like 15, 20 people. So I, I can see all these young minds, you know, for most of them, it was their first job in their life. <laughs> right, right. And, you know, it, it was very funny when I first started this application and sent it out. You know, I don't think any of the students had seen an application like this because they're yeah. like, what is the theme of the essay? You know, yeah. what do you want me to include? And I was like, it's very simple. Yeah. Sell yourself to me. Why should I give you the scholarship yeah. of all the applications? Sell yeah. yourself to me. That's fascinating. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to All India Radio Houston. We are talking about the Indian Doctors Association and my special guest is Dr. Raghu Atre. He's a plastic surgeon from Clear Lake, uh, Houston, uh, Clear Lake uh, Texas, I guess. It's not Clear Houston. Lake Houston. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I get mixed up. It is like Sugarland. It's it, actually it's Sugarland, Texas. <laughs> Sugarland actually has their own uh, zip code, yeah. and they're a separate city. But Clear Lake actually is technically yes, is part right? of Houston. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there are several small <laughs> cities like there. For, like for example, Friendswood is a yeah. separate city, and uh, Webster is a so separate it's a city. Belair, Belair is a separate exactly. City. <laughs> but it's it, Clear Lake is still part of Houston. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to join in the conversation, the number to call here is uh, two eight one seven four five four one six one. We're going to take a little break and we'll be right back after these messages. Ladies and gentlemen, please visit All India Radio Facebook page and like it. Here we bring you news, information, calendar of events and interesting stories from around the world, round the clock. So please visit All India Radio Houston page on Facebook and like it. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about uh, the Indian Doctors Charity Clinic, which is, is a big uh, uh, contribution by the Indian Doctors Association to the community. <laughs> um, so as I said earlier, um, there are two big arms in terms of um, charity for, that the organization yeah. provides to the community. One is the scholarship, which we discussed. The other <laughs> is the charity clinic. Yeah. And the charity clinic is funded by individual sponsors. Um, that, that fund the clinic, but yeah. also the Indian Doctors Association does provide a donation to the clinic as well yeah. and provides uh, some help and assistance to the maintenance of the clinic. Now, the IDC Charity Clinic is interesting because it is actually the only completely free charity clinic yeah. in the Houston area. Um, you don't have to be Indian to go to the charity clinic. Uh, yeah. Anybody can show up. And um, I think this is an appropriate venue First of all, to give some yeah. um, much needed thanks to the people who run the clinic. Yes. The clinic is really run by Dr. KT Shah and Dr. Raman, both of right them. Right from put the in, inception, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it, the, the clinic was started in 1999 and, I mean, have helped countless yes. patients. And um, it, it really is a sobering place to go to. If you've actually, if anybody has a chance to even just go there and see the place, you know, the amount of work that these two doctors really put in um, <laughs> on a weekend to try and help the community out is, uh, is remarkable. Yeah. And their enthusiasm and er energy is, um, is, uh, is admirable. Um, so the clinic is address is 6550 Maple Ridge, Houston 77081. Yeah. It's in uh, near Bel Air. Um, they have a website, so you can go on to their website, just ser search for IDC Charity Clinic Houston, and you'll yeah. come to their website. It gives you information on their timings. They're on Saturdays. And basically what they do is they, their main focus is to provide primary care services 
for people who otherwise would not be able to afford primary care services. Um, the clinic opens at somewhere close to 839, and I think uh, the last time I was talking to Dr. Shah, he said people show up at approximately 530 in the morning to start <laughs> yes. uh, getting in line. I mean, it really is, they provide a very valuable service. Um, the uh, Dr. Shah, Dr. Rahman, and also volunteer yeah. physicians that go there, um, basically what they do is they see the patients just like you would at any doctor's clinic. They order laboratory yes. studies and uh, radiology if necessary. Um, and um, almost all of these studies are provided by local people in the community at no cost to, um, to the patients. Yeah. So, um, it's really based on donations such that are done at the IDA gala, things like that, yeah. as well as the open arms and hearts of uh, individuals across the community that provide these services. Maybe we may also want to recognize uh, the, the radiologists who are providing all right. these free services. Exactly. There's a radio. Yeah. I mean, the, if we go down the names, I, yeah. I'm almost scared to <laughs> go down every name because of the fact that you're going to miss someone. There's a radiologist that provides all the radiology right, services. Yeah. There is a lab um, associated right, yeah. with the hospital corporation <laughs> that provides all the laboratory studies That's, yeah. there's numerous people that provide <laughs> drugs and drug samples I mean so there is just there's a lot of people in the community that come out and and <laughs> give their services ladies and gentlemen you are listening to all India radio Houston and we are talking about the Indian Doctors Association and my special guest is dr. Raghu Atre if you'd like to join in the conversation the number to call here is 281-745-4161 or uh, any association uh, has a lot of members behind the scenes uh, who are doing a lot of uh, groundwork. So let's talk about uh, some of your officers uh, who have been contributing to the association in the past, also in the future. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. So we have a we have a great board. Um, our go our board includes uh, Dr. Subodh Chauhan, who uh, yeah. does uh, reproductive medicine here in the Sugarland area. Dr. Manish Gandhi, who's a primary care yeah. uh, provider. Dr. Prasoon Jalal, who is a gastroenterologist. Yeah. Dr. Uh, Jignesh Shah, <laughs> uh, who's a gastroenterologist uh, in the Clear Lake area. And Dr. Swati Joglaker, who uh, does uh, hospital uh, hospitalist services okay, um, yeah. all around Houston. <laughs> uh, very busy practice. So all of these uh, members basically come together um, to help organize the happy hours as well as the IDA gala and kind of make sure that all these things go according to plan. That's good. Oh, okay, let's talk about, uh, let's give out your information of the Indian Doctors Association. If somebody wants to get in touch with you or wants to know more about the Indian Doctors Association. Absolutely. Um, we have a website, idahouston.net. Um, and uh, but the most accurate information, if you ever have any questions regarding joining, donating, whatsoever, gala-related questions, uh, the easiest way to get a hold of any of this information is email me, and I will email you back. Um, my email address again is ragu r a g h u at athre a t h r e dot com, and I will either respond directly to you or forward your email to the appropriate person to respond to your concerns. That's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to All India Radio on 1050 KCHN. I'm Dr. Nick Nickham, and we are talking about the Indian Doctors Association. Okay, let's uh, talk about uh, the website. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of information people can get? Uh, can they register for the membership or the gala? Things like that. <laughs> so the website currently, uh, as repeated, idahouston.net is yeah. a little bit under repair. We're going to <laughs> we're going to yeah. uh, actually jazz it up a little bit and add a lot of information. And that's the primary reason why I'm giving you everything see, via yeah. my email address uh, so that people, if they need information, do not get disheartened when the information is not as easily available through the website. Yeah. Um, we have, I have at my disposal currently the new application for membership, all of these various things. So therefore, it's one-stop shopping. Email me and I'll email you all the forms <laughs> that you need. That yeah. makes it very easy. So how many members do you think uh, you have? You have how many active members uh, in the association? Um, that's a very difficult question to answer yeah. because activity, if you look at it, um, somehow or another at the gala, we advertise the gala <laughs> and people just come out of the woodworks. I know. <laughs> so, you know, we expect to have approximately 400 yeah. people at the gala and almost every year when we get to the gala, 
you know, a few, maybe four <laughs> weeks prior to the gala, we have almost no RSVPs. And then all of a sudden, it's just everybody says, hey, I'm, I'm going to be there. So if you take a look at that, I would say we have roughly about four, 450 yeah. active members that, that uniformly come to the gala, <laughs> participate, donate, so on and so forth. If you really go to some of these happy hour events and you look at the numbers of I recurring know. people, we're probably in this, you know, anywhere from 70 to 150. I know. Uh, I think uh, I had, uh, you know, personal experience because uh, uh, I guess this is typical of, uh, I don't know if just us or every other group, they all just sign up in the last week. I don't exactly. know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Or maybe it's, it's, the, it's the Indian yeah. thing, you know, it's Indian standard time and Indian standard yeah. way uh, for RSVP. Uh, does the Indian Doctors Association have any type of uh, arrangements for like high school students or other type of students <coughs> to volunteer and get their community hours? Um, absolutely. So <laughs> all of these things, basically we are a group of doctors that yeah. are here in Houston. <laughs> um, do we have an uh, official volunteering mentoring program? Yeah. No, I mean, there's That's, not yeah. a, like an official stamped yeah. mentoring program. <laughs> However, if we have a high school student that says, hey, I'm really interested, I want to be a reproductive endocrinologist. I'm going to call up Dr. Chohan and say, I "Hey, said, I yeah. got this guy. <laughs> He's really interested. Can you please chat with him?" And I mean, it's basically yeah. it's a networking group that I can kind of in the web, you yeah. know, transfer them to various points in the in the web. I get a lot of calls from time to time. You know, like high school students. They say, oh, "Can we come and shadow you?" If they're so, interested. <laughs> so, I mean, at my personal practice, I routinely I <laughs> have high school students. At least every year, I get four to five high school students that come to see what I do. Yeah. Um, I, you know, train residents. Uh, so therefore, you know, I think it's each of the doctors in here are, in, you know, are, yeah. are invested in education. That's how we got here and we'll do whatever we can to give back to the community with respect to that. Oh, okay, that's very good. Ladies and gentlemen, we are, you are listening to All India Radio Houston. We are talking about the Indian Doctors Association and my special guest is uh, Dr. Raghu Atre. I think we got uh, another two, three minutes. Okay, let's uh, talk about why should I become an IDA member? What's in it for me? What's in it for you is, in, in reality, I'm going to tell you it's a feel-good <laughs> event. Yeah. Um, a, if you want to look at it from a, fear, a yeah. sheer tangible entity, yeah. um, it exposes you to a lot of physicians in and around Houston that you may or may not get to meet yeah. on a regular basis. Um, recently, at one of our Clear Lake Happy Hours, I met a <laughs> uh, physician who was a new hematologist oncologist in town? Yeah. And he got to meet about twenty PCPs, a, yeah. and you know he was like, you know, I go to all these <laughs> hospitals, I see consults, but these are people that I would never we really met. meet. Yeah. And several of the PCPs, they were like, we don't even know who the hemonk <laughs> in this area is. Yeah. So I mean, from a sheer business <laughs> standpoint, it was a, it yeah. was a good event for him to show up at from a business perspective. But from a you know from a personal perspective. It's nice to get involved in a organization that you know gives something back to the community. Well, that's so you know, you know, socially also, like you said, you know, Gela is a great place to bring the whole family and then network with people with like-minded uh, uh, activities and profession because right. it makes a big difference. <laughs> right. Or even if you just want to watch a cricket game together. <laughs> <laughs> however, how, I mean, it's it's about meeting people. Know, you know, yeah. we are all social creatures. We can't live in, yeah. a, in a box. <laughs> That's right. Uh, okay, let's uh, talk about, uh, uh, g give us the information again about the gala, the date, the location. Absolutely. And uh, how they get their names registered, hopefully three weeks before the gala. <laughs> right, right. So I'm going to give out some information and also some pleas to the community at yeah. large. Yes. So first of all, our ga gala is on April 11th, 2015, this year, at Hotel Derek. Seats mm -hmm. are still available, and we also ha still have some room for sponsorships. Yeah. Um, any information that you need about the gala, please do not hesitate to call me. Again, my email address, which is the most uh it's the easiest way to get a hold of me is ragu, R-A-G-H-U, at atre, A-T-H-R-E dot com. Um, some pleas to the community. First of all, any business owners who are interested in either donating to the gala, sponsoring a table, doing any marketing with the gala, please contact me. There are several opportunities. We have things where you may want a marketing booth, if you want to have a talking position. There are several yeah. opportunities, and all of these are negotiable, so you can call me and tell me what it is that you need, and we'll do our best to accommodate you. Um, this is from a personal perspective, something that I'm trying to do at the gala this year. 
Um, if there are any members in the community that are listening to the show or you have any friends that are retired Indian military personnel living here in the Houston uh, area, please give me a call. Um, actually, email me at uh, ragu, again, R-A-G-H-U, yes. at authre, A-T-H-R-E dot com. Um, we're doing something very special. The theme this year for the gala is um, uh, Bharat Mata. So therefore, the whole theme to the Indian Doctors Association is going to be the tricolor. All the colors are going to be in uh, orange, white, and saffron, white, and green. Yeah. So it, I think it's going to be something very interesting that people haven't seen, and we're really excited about it. Raghu, it's been a pleasure uh, talking to you. And, Thanks, Nick. Uh, we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about irregular heart rhythm. Stay tuned. <laughs> Ahem. <clears throat>